We are merging traditional therapeutics along with psychedelics, working with some big universities, uh, trying to develop some therapies to try to help a lot of people. This bag ain't never going out of style. Nah. This bag ain't never going out of style. Nah. Gucci, Louis, Fendi, Prada might have got a while. Nah. But this bag ain't never going out of style. Ooh, she feeling my style. I'm in What's poppin'? It's your boy Cash Gouvet, my man DJ Lex on the show Poppin' Crypto. Where you check your prejudice at the dough, cause this ain't your average crypto and tech show. We like to have some fun with it while educating at the same time. Today, I'm bringing on the CEO of Silo Pharma, Eric Weislam. Now, they've mixed traditional therapeutics with psychedelic research to create FDA-approved psychedelic drugs for home use. I'm gonna talk to Eric about ways that we can implement blockchain technology with the biopharma industry as a whole. But you know what I like to do on Poppin' Crypto, man. I'm gonna spit something about the company, and then we're gonna bring on Eric. So DJ Lex, drop that beat, man, one time from the top, and I'm going to spit something. Let's go. Yeah. Silo. Uh. This beat is like a psychedelic trick for your mind, so I'm bringing on the CEO of Silo to my show. Eric's about to explain the benefits you're going to get. One little bit, take a whole week to finish it. The goal is approval for home use and much more. All above board so you can get it at the drugstore. There's five in the pipeline. These treatments you might find that they've been designed so that they keep you in the right mind. Traditional therapeutics with psychedelic research, patented time release, technology reach first. The only ones with it, they plan. In they own game, I say it with no shame, I stay in my own lane, is it listed on the NASDAQ? The ticket symbol silo, with something I can buy low, but hold it for a while though, it's quiet kept, cause they ain't got a chance to try it yet, let's brainstorm on how to bring blockchain to biotech. Silo. DJ Lex. If you ain't sleeping, make sure you follow, like, and subscribe so that way you get notified every time I drop a new show. Without further ado, we're going to bring on Eric, the CEO of Silo Pharma. What's poppin', Eric? How you doing? You guys are popping. That was incredible. You guys are unbelievable. I'm a huge fan and just thank you so much for having me. Man, it's great to have you on. I like the idea of what you're doing. Now, this is something that's kind of a hot sector right now, psychedelics. Can you tell us what Silo Pharma is in a nutshell? Sure. Silo Pharma, as you mentioned, is uh, listed on the NASDAQ under the symbol SILO. We are merging traditional therapeutics along with psychedelics, working with some big universities, uh, trying to develop some therapies to try to help a lot of people. All right, what, tell us briefly though, what are some of the uh, elements that you guys help folks with? So one, one of the indications that we're working on is a topical delivery for ketamine with the initial indication for inflammation and fibromyalgia. And our end goal is to provide a therapeutic that a person can give themselves at home in a safe environment. What makes the technology unique is it's a topical administered, which allows us to control dosage and time release. So we're hoping that we could bring that uh, as a therapeutic and help a lot of people. All right, now, so time release dosage, that's kind of what the key is, right? Now, you guys are developing something that you're making it so that it can be approved, FDA approval, to have something at home that doesn't currently exist yet, right? Correct. So the current therapeutics that are available, you have to go to a clinic. You have to either have it by IV or one FDA approved product, which is an intranasal delivery. So what we believe that we have is three of the important key things that the FDA is going to consider and looking at with all these psychedelics, substance abuse, dosage control, time release. So we believe we check all those boxes and we are advancing the technology, um, doing some studies and we're gonna go in front of the FDA hopefully um, sometime in early 2023. All right, see, that's what you come to Poppin' Crypto at Cassius Cuvée for. We bring you the stuff, the early stuff, the latest, the greatest, before anybody's really talking about it. Now, this is a hot sector, a hot industry, but what you mentioned is something very important about the FDA, which kind of brings to some of the ideas about blockchain technology. We're getting to that a little bit later, but basically, it's about the regulation of it and the importance of being able to be able to do it at home, right? So then that way it doesn't have the abuse factor. It limits, it lowers the, the chances of it, correct? Well, correct. One of, the, one of the problems with all these psychedelics and controlled substances is first the safety, safety for the patient and addressing the potential for abuse with all these types of drugs in a, in a safe, controlled environment, dosage and time release. We believe we could address what those concerns are 
and provide a therapeutic that a doctor could administer and provide uh, for at-home treatments, which again, one of the most important things is going to a clinic. Everyone likes to have a therapy that they could do in the comfort of their own home. And if we could possibly achieve that um, and have the FDA approve something like that down the road, it would be uh, a great thing to bring to uh, uh, patient population. You would guys be the first ones to do it if that were the case. As far as we know, we are hopefully to be one of the first ones. There's a lot of companies that are working on the technology. Uh, we believe that we are one of the front uh, lead runners in this space. And so this is where I was thinking, kind of brainstorm, just kind of leading the blockchain technology about the, the way things can be tracked in the blockchain. So you can safely, safely keep track of, you know, where things are going because the blockchain is mutable. And that way, you know, we don't necessarily know what blockchain in this case, but just in general for the biopharma industry, with all the different you know drug abuses and stuff out there, you could actually keep track of where the product is. Uh, I know like VeChain, for example, is a chain that is for supply chain. Um, do you have any thoughts on that? And like, how would blockchain technology potentially work for this industry? So it's interesting in blockchain in general, in the healthcare industry, we're seeing uh, many companies and a lot of breakthrough uh, in the technology from hospital management systems the ongoing exchange of confidential information. We all know that the blockchain provides a secure auditing blockchain environment. So we're seeing a lot of for, for patient information for uh, the security of that. And as you mentioned, inventory management. From the time um, any drug or inventory is, is done from the manufacturer all the way through the end user, I, I think blockchain can play a key role in keeping track and uh, controlling the supply chain. Right, right. And that way, you know, because everything people don't always know what an NFT is. But I, what I try to explain to people is that a non fungible token right now, you know, it's popular. Everybody knows it's like about art and things like that. But when you start getting into big data and things being, you know, that on the blockchain, it can't be forged. You know, you want to have it as an NFT that could be court documents, medical documents. I've been saying this for a while now, over a year now. And this is one of those industries that, you know, it's not bells and whistles. It's, you know, it's not the Board Ape Yacht Club or anything like that. But this is important data and information that the whole internet would want to use one day. And so I definitely think that, you know, the medical industry and biopharma could somehow work with that. Absolutely. The privacy and the security in and of itself, there's a tremendous opportunities there. Right. I don't know if anybody out there knows what ZKP rollups are, but that's zero knowledge proof. There are blockchains where you can prove the information is real without having to see how that was done. Right. It's like a test at school where they always used to say, like, show your work, you know, with with zero knowledge proof blockchain technology. You can know that the answer is real without having to show the work. And that's one way that you can keep privacy. But then on the other end, the user, we know that it's in fact their, you know, in this case, it might be their prescription or something like that. Yeah, definitely, definitely very interesting. And I think it's going to play a very big role down the road. Tell me a little bit more about I know now I know um, Silo Pharma develops some other type of products as well. Tell me a little more about those. Absolutely. So we have partnered with some very reputable universities. Um, we have two drugs with the university. One is a therapeutic for Alzheimer's. The other is for stress induced anxiety. As we all know, anxiety, PTSD, depression, major issue in this country, especially coming out of the pandemic. So we're, we're excited about those. And then we have a partnership and a license agreement with another reputable university where we have a liposomal homing peptides. We have two of those and one's for the central nervous system, one's for joint homing peptide. What really makes those interesting is the ability to specifically target and deliver a drug or a therapeutic to a part of the body. One of them focuses purely on the CNS or getting through the blood brain barrier, which is obviously important. And the other is a joint homing peptide. What makes these so unique, um, the ability to have less toxicity in the body and directly deliver the drug to the area that you're trying to treat. Uh, we consider basically putting a payload uh, to the exact part of the body that you're looking to treat and not hurting anything else in the body. So we are very excited about these technologies and the other drugs we have in development. And now is this like nano nanotechnology? Is that what this is? So, so it sort of incorporates, it's sort of like, if you look at like a unique smart delivery and it drops its payload on the specific uh, part of the body that it's trying to uh, treat. And then so, now this, this is some smart stuff now. So this is why I like, this is some real science stuff right here. So this is like something that I like to have on the show where it's like real cutting edge technology. I know we don't necessarily, the viewer and myself, I don't even understand how all the science works. You guys are solving it though, right? And so you listed on the NASDAQ, 
tell me a little bit more about where people can actually uh, invest in your company if they wanted to want to do that. So, so we are listed on the Nasdaq under the symbol SILO. Um, so it's readily uh, available through any of your financial advisors, brokerage firm, obviously consult and speak with your advisor ever before investing, or you could go look at our website at silopharma.com as a public company. All of our public information is available online. Yeah, and I was on your site too, and I saw some of the different things that you guys were were building. Now, I mentioned in the wrap, so let's talk about the wrap for a second, because I mentioned some of this stuff in the wrap. You said you got like five things in the pipeline, right? Correct. So, so, so we have we have we have, as I mentioned, essential nervous system homing peptide. We have a different sequence peptide for joint homing peptides. So a way to think about that is arthritis, inflammation, being able to treat directly uh, the point of pain. And then we have uh, the other two drugs in addition to the topical ketamine that we're working on is a treatment potentially for Alzheimer's and stress-induced anxiety and PTSD. So we have five different programs basically going on uh, right now currently under the Silo Pharma Company. Now, and all of these are derived in psychedelic research. So that's psychedelics like, you know, the ketamine mushrooms, that kind of psychedelics, right? So so the, the Alzheimer's drug, the stress PTSD is a psychedelic based drug. Obviously the topical that we're working on is a ketamine based psychedelic and the homing peptides can basically incorporate traditional medicines as well as psychedelics down the road. So at it's early stage technology, but there's a, a tremendous potential opportunity with that technology. I know you got some smart scientists working for you down there. <laughs> oh, absolutely have a great team over here at Sila. <laughs> right on, for sure. Well, I mean, is that anything else that you want to add to it? Any ideas and specifics of your company maybe? Have any ideas working with blockchain technology or Web3 in the future? I just think we're working on some great, exciting technologies. And I think there is obviously going to be some merger of the blockchain technology coming into the healthcare sector. And I think it's an evolving space and it's exciting space for both industries. Right. And that's one of the things I like talking to technologists, scientists and folks who are on the cutting edge of development, because it's it's kind of inevitable that I think it's all going to merge one way or another, because really blockchain is going to basically be like the new Internet. So anything you do on the Internet, any, any sort of data transfer is going to somehow be incorporated into it. Web three one way or another. So especially for someone like you and your company, the way you guys are on the cutting edge of just, you know, innovation, it's kind of bound to cross paths. Yeah, you're already seeing it in the healthcare industry, especially at some of the big pharma companies. They've already incorporated and are starting to use it in their systems. Right on. Well, I appreciate you coming on the show, Eric. And uh, it's been great having you. Did you like the rap? I love the rap. I love you guys. I'm a big fan. And I hope as uh, we get some additional data as we mature as a company, we'll come back and update you and everybody else. That's right. You're going to come back on Papa Crypto with Cash's Cuvee and let us know the new developments and everything that's coming down the pipeline. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having me again. Thanks for coming on. You missed a good one if you wasn't there. Taking over the game, man. NFTs, all that. That's how we get it, man. Artists taking it back for ourselves.